The World Baseball Classic just ended with the best matchup you could think of. Struck him out! Otani strikes out Trout, and Japan's back on top of the baseball world! And there's no debate, Otani is the best player in the world, and he just added WBC MVP to the list of his recognitions. But one guy that stood out during this tournament is 21-year-old starting pitcher from Japan, Roki Sasaki. And all eyes on Roki Sasaki. You're thinking fastball all the way. It's fastball and then adjust. Rosarena strikes out swinging. 102. But Mexico has their hands full, that's for sure. In the quarterfinal game yesterday against Mexico, Roki threw 29 fastballs, and 26 of them were 100 plus miles per hour, topping out at 102. His average fastball velocity on the day was 100.5 miles per hour. He also featured this splitter that topped out at 93, and based on the glove side break, it looked more like a slider, but it was confirmed as a splitter. At the plate. So Saki makes. And here's an overlay of that fastball compared to the splitter. You can definitely see that glove side break there. But I've got to give a shout out to Luis Urias, who hit a hanging splitter from Sasaki and put Mexico up 3 0. A three run shot. Team Mexico strikes first. Now here's a stat. The only player to homer off of arguably the top two pitchers in the world, both Jacob deGrom and Roki Sasaki, is Luis Arias. Here's a splitter from his outing against the Czech Republic. And then you have to defend against 101. He also has a curveball and slider in his back pocket, but it's really that fastball splitter combo that gets the best results. Last year in his first full season in the NPB, which is the Japanese Professional Baseball League, Roki threw a perfect game, tallying 19 strikeouts, which tied the league's record. And then in his next start, he went eight perfect innings before getting taken out of the game. He would finish 2022 going 129 in a third innings with a 2.02 ERA, 173 strikeouts to 23 walks, which is 12 strikeouts per nine and only 1.6 walks per nine. With the pure stuff that he has, he legit could be the best pitcher on the planet. And at the very least, the best pitcher that's not in Major League Baseball. Now, the question of when we'll see him in Major League Baseball? It gets complicated with the Japanese posting system with the MLB. There's a few options, but the most realistic option is that we'll see him at some point around 2027. If you want a full breakdown of Roki Sasaki, go check out this video by Sportstorm. He does a great job of breaking down Roki's background, as well as what makes him so special. I'll link this video down in the description as well. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below if there was another player that stood out for you in the WBC. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. All right guys, goodbye zone and don't forget it.